Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, and one of the ultimate Kenyan foods to eat is called nyamachoma, which is roasted meat. And so today I'm gonna meet up with my longtime buddy Khan, and he has a company called Gikosh, and they make uh, airplane, all sorts of airplane, old airplane part including furniture as well as costumes. And so we're gonna meet up with his team. We're gonna take you on a nyamachoma tour of Nairobi. And we're gonna walk around Gikomba Market uh, with some of the, the unique costumes. You can see Amoy, right? Yeah, you are Amoy, okay, yeah, Sawa. Yeah. And now he's rocking one of the one of the costumes already. Uh, but we're gonna walk around Gikomba first uh, and and just see what happens and of course eat Nyamachoma. You are in the light place, you yes. are the <laughs> We have got our factory for this one. We are acting. 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 We are So Khan is a buddy of mine. I grew up with him going to high school in Nairobi and this is his Gikosh project, uh, his company. Uh, but this is sort of a living art, it's a living art project, right? Uh, so they're putting on the costumes right now and we've only just entered into Gikomba and already we've kind of created a little bit of a scene. There are some people really curious about what's going on. Uh, they're just putting on the costumes. My friend Joelle is here. We also went to school together and she's joining us for the Nyamachoma tour. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're gonna walk around the market a little while first and explore. So the reason we wanted to come to Gikomba especially, well they have a very good Nyamachoma spot. Uh, but it's one of the biggest wholesale, one of the most energetic, one of the busiest markets in Nairobi. And right now we are in the Juakali section. So you can hear the metal banging. Uh, and Juakali, it's the, it's the informal sector of like creating things in Kenya. So people, uh, lots of, lots of Juakalis are welders or carpenters. They can create anything uh, from anything. And so this is kind of fits with the Khan's Gikosh project um, and some of his team who are welders and carpenters and so we're just gonna walk around this area and already hello <laughs> and so yeah, we're just walking around this area it's already been so much fun oh good to meet you how are you very good how are you especially metal work in here uh, there's pots there's pans there are jikos which are the the charcoal grills <laughs> people are generally quite nice and friendly, but uh, this entire area, this market is so fascinating because uh, people are so creative and people are so innovative in what they create. Hi, dude. Hello. Hey, we're walking through, it's kind of a food section. There's aromas of grilled meat, but this entire like floor ground is made up of tire shavings. So they're just making all sorts of things out of tires in this section of the market. One thing that you'll notice about, I mean, Nairobi and in Africa in general is that people are so resourceful and so innovative. Nice to meet you, Asante Sana. We're here at the first Nyama Choma spot. They're calling this the Choma zone. This is a grill zone, a roasting zone. All Nyama Choma restaurants are usually butcheries as well. So they have fresh meat. You order your meat, they grill it fresh. You sit here and you eat meat. Katsi Hotel. Katsi Hotel. Okay, okay, the name is called Katsi Hotel Nyama Choma. This is Mbuzi or Ngombe. Ngombe. Here is all ngombe, which is beef. Uh, and I'm gonna just show you, kind of come down here. I'm gonna show you. You gotta, you gotta rock hop a little bit. But this is the the meat cabinet right here. So this is where they cut the fresh beef, um, and then they, yeah, they chop it up right here, and then they grill it right over here where the grill is. Oh, so, oh what is that called? Nyama fry. Nyama fry. Ah, nyama fry. <laughs> Can you take a 
Kachumbari dogo. Kachumbari. Eh, ah, sawa sawa. Kachumbari nyanya nyanya. And pili pili, they have the fresh pili pili. Pili pili, yeah. Very very hot. I love it. How is the nyamachoma? Nyamachoma. Sawa. We got two kgs of uh, beef nyamachoma. Uh, so we're sitting here eating. They chop it all up into bite-sized pieces and we got some kachumbari, which is the mix of tomatoes and onions and dania and there's also some pili pili. Uh, so what you can do is you can take a piece of the nyamachoma, the meat, and then you grab some of the kachumbari along with the meat. Oh. oh yeah. Oh that's so good. It's a little tough, but that's the like that's the texture you want because you can keep on chewing and it just keep, keeps releasing the meatiness. They have an indoor section, sort of indoorsy, but uh, we got the outside section where we got a view of the street. You can smell the meat here. Uh, this is oh, this is a proper spot. I'm gonna pick up this bone. Oh, there's a nice bite on this bone. This is a little nugget attached to bone still. Oh, I got a bone shard on that. Yeah. You got. I got some of the grizzle in that bite, but really, oh, I still think I have a piece of bone in my. <laughs> I know. Joel, well, how's the how's the nyama It's Delicious. The thing is, when it's like chewy, it just keeps on producing flavor in your mouth, even though you gotta chew for a little bit. And I love you like cutting it, chasing it with the kachumbari. The the mix of grizzle and meat. Yeah, I really love it. This, you can be guaranteed, is a well-used meat knife. There's some definite meat juices all over this handle, but it has been sharpened and used so many times that it's actually like a half moon shape. Uh, and now we are moving on to the next Nyamachoma spot. Have a great day. Oh yeah, that was definitely the most, like the biggest experience adventure nyamachoma that I've ever experienced before. <laughs> How was the nyamachoma? That's good. Sawa sawa. Are you ready for some more nyamachoma? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yes. <laughs> We're on our way to go eat more nyamachoma. Joel is an awesome driver. <laughs> for real, Joel. We made it to the next spot and this place, this has always been one of my favorite places to eat nyamachoma in all of Nairobi. As you're walking up to the market already, you can smell the aroma of the roasting meat. Welcome to Kenyatta Market. This is, oh, and you can see all the butchers already at the front here edges as we're entering. Let's walk and have a look and see what's going on. My brother, my brother. Oh man, it gets a little bit intense, but they all want us to come to their restaurant. Oh man, it's almost a fight. <laughs> Uh, this one? Yeah, that is a beautiful one. So nice. Choko Choma is here. Asante. Choma Kukuya. Choma Dioyo. The smokiness, the meatiness. Uh, but it's pretty, it, it filters. Okay, there's some smoke coming out. Oh, the meat, my friend. Nyama <laughs> Choma. So, and what is your name? My name is Cosmas Mwandenzinzi. Cosmas? Cosmas Mwandenzinzi. Cosmas Mwandenzinzi. 
Uh, there's a little bit of intensity, but we're, we're choosing here. They make awesome meat and you can kind of stand around and sample. Oh yeah. Look at this one. This one is, this one is four kilos. <laughs> like this one. Sour. Uh, and maybe kuku. Kuku mingi zandi oye. Sour. So much chicken here. Kuku just just one. Just, just, one. just one chicken, yeah. Yeah. They do have their own dining room section, but it's really dark, so we asked them if we could come out here and bring the meat. Okay, this is perfect right out here on the, the open air. I can cut now. Put boga with kachumbari. Is it some green? Spinach. <laughs> That is Irio. Irio. You know this one. Irio. The entire table is just covered in chopping boards uh, of meat and bones. The roasted aroma is just erupting off of this table. We got ugali, we got irio, we got oh sawa santezana. We got some extra pili pili. This is the definition of a Nairobi nyamachoma meat feast. <laughs> okay, okay, first, this is some of the mbuzi choma, which is goat. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna try it steak first before I start digging in, mixing in with all the, all the kachumbari that those chilies. Oh, it's so good. It's like, I mean, the, the meat is tender. It's so flavorful. It's extra salty when they grill it. I mean, they slow smoke it. They slow grill it so it embeds with that smoke. And then they heavily salt it. So that also brings out the umami of the fatty meat. Oh, oh those chilies make all the difference too. That's just the jolt of heat. Uh, it has a juice as well. The chili's juice in your mouth. Oh, this one is so tender. I mean, some pieces you get, they are a little tough and chewy. This piece is just outrageously tender. Oh man, that's good. I need to dip in some pili pili and some kachumbari. And with the creamy avocado. Yeah, that, that complements the meat perfectly. That butteriness. We've got all the different starches too. So ugali, which is one of the main staples of Kenya made from maize corn flour and it's also what we are accompanying with the meat oh yeah mm. oh and that vegetable is awesome i think is this mboga is it mchicha this is spinach or spinach it's only spinach okay and it's made from potato Potatoes and some green vegetables. This is another very popular staple in, in Kenya. It's very kind of like soft in texture and compared to the ugali, it's much uh, lighter. Oh yeah. Oh, I love that. Next up for the kukuchoma, the grilled chicken. Oh yeah. Oh, that is, it's really tender. It's, oh, my face might be blocked by the umbrella. It's really tender. It's, it really has just absorbed, like a sponge, the flavor of that smokiness. Oh, the two-biter drumstick. Okay, I follow that with some kachumbari and some chili. Oh boy. <laughs> How is the nyamachoma? Good. Good. Another thing you can do, and I actually don't really usually add too much extra salt because they add a lot of salt already while they're grilling, but they always have a side on your cutting board of chumbi, which is salt. And most people, when they eat nyamachoma, they dip a little corner of their meat, each bite, into the chumbi, into the salt before they eat it. But mainly what I want is that pili pili. Kukuchoma. Okay, and I gotta grab another piece of kukuchoma. This one is the, the thigh. <laughs> the chicken is actually stunning. Mm. Mm. It's been so long since I've had irio. I love it. 
We're heading out of Kenyatta Market. Yeah, that was another meat adventure. And this, it, it was a little bit hectic because uh, there are a number of different stalls all trying to get our business, but eventually we chose the stall number B2. Uh, they, were, they were pretty friendly and they have some good meat. That meat was awesome. We're moving on. We took a drive over to Karen, and Karen is on the outskirts of Nairobi, but it's a beautiful green area. Uh, and we're here to go to Khan's uh, workshop for Gikosh, and he's gonna show us some of the things that he's working on right now, and some of the plane parts. Ah. Whoa. That's a, yeah, that was a loud cow. This is Gikosh headquarters, There's airplanes around. There's all sorts of spare parts. You can see some of the, the furniture, which are made from airplanes. Khan, what is this thing? Uh, it's propeller. a propeller. Sweet. <laughs> and then over on this side, this is a table made from the crankshaft shaft of the airplane, as well as this is the propeller too, right? Which is, okay. it's, yeah, it's so unique. It's so creative and a perfect place to drink coffee. It was very cool to hang out and learn more and, and see Gikosh in action. Yeah, they're so talented. I'll have their link in the description box below, which you can check out. Uh, but we're on our way next to go eat some more Nyamachoma. Where are we going next for Nyamachoma? We are going to Dagreti. Dagreti? Yeah. Okay, going. so... Uh, yeah. And this is... Oh, and by the way, uh, Nyamachoma, it means so. It means roasted meat. But one of the slang ways to say Nyamachoma is called Nyamchom. Nyamchom. Chicken chom. Chicken chom. We drove over to Donyo. This is Dagoretti. This is quite a bit off the beaten path, but there's a slaughterhouse here, uh, so the meat is fresh, and this is another area that is known for their nyamachoma. Uh -huh. You don't have anything, eh? Here, eh? You want the red? Oh, it is here, right? Mana no. no. Carol Smart. Yes! Hazate <laughs> Zana. <laughs> Carol Smart. Carol Butteri. Carol Butteri. Carol Butteri. Carol Butteri. Now we are in the light breeze in yes. the <laughs> slaughterhouse. <laughs> can you see the meal now? Oh yeah, we can smell the meat. You can smell We're it. We're in already. the smoke you of the meat. Yam chom. Yam chom. Yam chom. You can feel it, eh? Yam chom. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, that's the breeze. No. Yeah. Okay, so it's all. If I want to comment something, eh? Yes. Yeah. Here. The butcher, yeah? Yes. What is yeah, the specialty here? Yeah, we variety of different type of ah, sour. type of beef. Oh, beef. it's beef. Yeah, it's yeah. Beef. Okay, beef. but muzi also. Muzi, yeah. Okay. Muzi. Kondo. It's there. What is kondo? Kondo. Ah, oh, that is goat and sheep. Ah. Do you know it? Do you yeah, we should it? have some kondo. No, yeah, the mat kondo. No. The mutton. The mutton. The mutton. The, okay. yeah. the sheep. Body. Peter. <laughs> 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 Is the red going to? Kondo. You enjoy your so meat. So we got the, the kondo choma, which is the, the sheep uh, roasted, but we're also getting the nyama fry, which is the meat fried up. You know, with tomatoes on. But fried with tomatoes yeah. and with onion. Yeah. Okay, bro. And the garlic. Asante. And the garlic. Oh, yeah. And the other one is the garlic. This one. Okay. Ah, Asante. Asante. Yes. Okay. This is the kitchen showing me the nyama fry. Yeah. Oh, thank you for holding the light. Yeah. And we got the ugali. Okay, let's go back to eat now. No, let's go there. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's Asante. Good. Hey, you're not eating, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, and here comes the nyama fry. Mm, wow. Yes, this one is the fry. Right. You can enjoy it to be welcome, eh? Yeah, Carol is really nice, actually, and she's she came around with some <laughs> liver taste <laughs> test. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that is really good. Um, goat liver. Oh, that's natural tasting. But let me see. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're in the camera, by the way. Um, by the way, what is your name? <laughs> my name. Yeah. My name is Francis. Francis. Okay. Francis has joined us for this nyamachoma. Yes. Um. Okay, so this is the, the Kondo Choma, which is yeah, a sheep. Eh? Yeah. 85, number 85. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty fatty piece. Yeah. It does burst with flavor, and you can again taste that smokiness. It's salty. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What's your name? Joel. Joan. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, next up for the nyama fry and the fry. Yeah, they were yes. cooking it in a big pot. I think this is beef. Um, but there's some sakuma wiki, which is like collard greens that they fried within here. I think there's some tomatoes, some onions. I'm not sure what else, but it's just like a pile of meat and bones just steaming away. <laughs> oh, the nyama fry is awesome. Yeah, it's like. Oh, it's definitely kind of oily. It's like, it like sizzles in its own juices, but you taste the, the like tartness of the tomatoes. You taste that takuma wiki. Mm. Okay, now my fry is excellent. Oh. oh man, the fry is excellent. And that's like a a different some diversity in this nyamachoma. It's a it's a totally different taste, different dish. We just finished with that ending nyamachoma and I think we're gonna call it a day there. We've had a lot of nyamachoma today, but this last spot it was pretty good. Uh, this is well off the beaten path. Uh, we met a couple of guys, I think they're actually from the slaughterhouse, but they just kind of hung out with us and, and started eating with us, which is totally okay. What a nyamachoma ultimate. Nyamachoma tour of Nairobi it has been today. So I'm gonna end the video now. Thank you very much for watching Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed uh, Yeah, click subscribe now I'm gonna be publishing lots more food and travel videos and also click that little bell icon That way you get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from Nairobi. See you on the next video <laughs> Okay, okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and what is your name? Morning. Oh, my name is David Moura. <laughs> David. Yeah, David Moura, and I'm from the great here, where we are now, don't you? Ah, so. Yeah. So, what we do here so that you cannot uh, you see meat then, you feel, no, I don't like meat. What we do while uh, eating, eh? Yeah? We don't eat to be satisfied. We eat to finish. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, we eat to finish. Yeah, we eat to finish. Yeah, Yeah, that is it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that is, the, that is the quote of the day. We don't eat to be satisfied. We eat to finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quote of today. That is the quote of the day. Yeah. No. Start now. Continue. <laughs>